Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego. Welcome back to another Super Smash Brothers Ultimate minifigure video. And today I have number 66, Simon Belmont and his Echo Fighter, Richter Bel Belmont, both from the Castlevania series. And it's super awesome to have these characters in the Smash, and I can't wait to play as them when they come out. And so also, make sure you stick around at the end of the video to see another character. He's not Smash Bros. related yet, but he will be. So you can stick around to see that figure if you want. But let's go ahead and get started with Simon Belmont. Now, the first thing about Simon Belmont that you're going to see is his ball and chain. And I only made one ball and chain. It's actually not supposed to have this piece on it. And uh, this transparent piece is literally just to have it stand up, like, so it kind of, like, goes off a little bit. Like, like you know what I mean? I, I don't want it to be, you know, just on the ground, so it just kind of looks like it's flying in the air. That's the only reason why. It can, it can be totally removed. I just, I don't want to remove it. But, yeah, basically, I only made one ball and chain, because Simon Belmont and Buzz Richter have the same thing. So, they just basically share it, and it, all it is is just a, a piece of clay sculpted onto this, like, you know, the chain piece. And then I just sculpted all the spikes on it. And, uh, yeah, I did paint the chain as well, which is not a good idea, but it lo definitely looks cool. So, yeah, that's the ball and chain, and I'll I might give it to Richter in pictures, just so you can see with, like, him with his ball and chain as well. So, now let's go on to the very awesome figure. Now, Simon Belmont was super fun to make and also kind of intimidating just because of how detailed he is. I mean, he's really detailed in, like, his artwork and stuff, so it was really scary to make, and I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I did include a lot of 3D elements and whatnot because I thought it would look nicer. So I guess I'll just start with the bottom, and uh, I painted on some detail onto the legs, and the boots, like, hub parts are three-dimensional, and you can see the shine. I think I gave the same, just, like, shoe design here for Snake. I believe I did. But, uh, yeah, there's, like, the chain things that go around his legs, and then he's got some more details. I did do a back to him as well, but I don't do a back to remote some figures. And, yeah, he has all the gold details and the little skirt piece and the belts and whatnot. Now, the def definitely the hardest part uh, trying to figure out the design of this was the torso, because I didn't know how I was going to do all the chest and, and whatnot. So, first of all, what I did is I painted the whole torso that pink color, and then those parts on top are actually Amiibo box cardboard, I think, because it was really thick, and it just looked better, and that's... That's pretty much it for that figure. I mean, not for the figure, but for like that side. And you can see the detail here. I also outlined the whole thing in uh, black, which is kind of a nice look, little touch. So yeah, the arms are three-dimensional. Or like the little arm cuffs here are three-dimensional. And then so is the shoulder pad. So now the big part is kind of like the head and hair stuff. So I did give him his like really nice, you know, anime face. Or, you know, I don't know if it's really technically anime. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just eyes really and then uh this is pretty much the most like the best hair choice as of now i think it might if you like if you have any other like better ideas for hair uh, definitely let me know and then the part that goes around his head is uh three-dimensional it's just i think uh tape or paper or clay or something i don't know so that is simon belmont a very cool figure his arms are movable too i forgot to say that and i'm really excited to see him now, I am actually way more excited to play as Richter, and I, I don't know, I really like this figure, just the, the design, just it looks really cool. And personally, I have never really played a Castlevania series, but I have been a fan of it in the past, and I used to watch a lot of AVGN and all like the Castlevania nonsense that he talks about and whatnot. So I have been, you know, you know accustomed to the series, so I'm really excited to finally play as Richter, and it's going to be awesome. He might be, my, he might be in my squad strike, I don't know. But onto the actual figure, this one was a lot more fun to make because I just worked really like how much harder on it, I guess. I made the boots three dimensional, like the boot cuffs, same as Simon. And also this part, oh gosh, this little like skirty thing that goes down here. It's not, it goes all the way around, like doesn't go like in the middle of it. I like it there. And the belts are three dimensional and uh, the little piece here, like the, the fold over is also three dimensional. That's actually part of it. It's not just like a part of cut out, that's part of the actual thing you know what I'm talking about and yeah I'm not gonna spend too much time on this figure you can just see the arms and like the detail I put there and the back looks nice and then you know the gauntlet here on this arm and that's nice and the part that goes around his head is cool too so the head is really nice I think I got the likeness to the actual character really nice and it's really spot on it's very very nice and I think my friends can agree that it looks really hot and now the hair piece, just like Roy and all the other characters I make, it's sculpted onto normal hair piece now because it just looks a lot better. And I just did very minimal, oh gosh, min very minimal detail to the hair to make it look uh, really nice. So that is it for Richter. He's very simple. Well, in terms of just, you know like somewhat character design, in terms of what I actually did, it was 
kind of difficult, but he's a nice figure. And now for the figure I told you about earlier, it's of course Gino from Super Mario RPG. Now, I'm going to put in a bogus, actually. I'm really excited to hopefully, uh, actually, I, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating Gino's reveal. Honestly, I think it's, you know, 100% going to happen, and I, I'm really excited for it to finally say Gino shoots with stars or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, I can, if, you know, Gino's like the only other character I've been, I say other, but really Gino's the only character that I've been hoping get in the game for a long time, so, you know, prior to Smash 4. So I'm really, really excited if he gets in the game, and I'll definitely main him. Uh, besides Ness, I'll probably don't know who will main, who, who will get in the game. But anyway, yeah, uh, Gina looks nice. I sculpted his hat based on the one that I made in 2016 because that one was really nice. I just sculpted this onto a baseball cap, and that looks good. And uh, the eyes are really big, too. But they look like, you know, Super RPG Gino. And the little hairs and whatnot. It's kind of going off a little bit. And now the capes are really difficult to do. I'm not going to really talk about the torso and whatnot because it's pretty simple, and you can see what I did. But the capes were really difficult. Like, they were really difficult. Let's see if I can get the head off to show you what I mean. This is kind of scary. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off. Uh, okay, there we go. So the cape, the first cape part is this made out of paper. I'll put it into focus. So it's blue on the bottom, or blue on the top, and then yellow on the bottom. And it just, you know, it just kind of goes on the torso just like this. And the next part is this guy, which looks kind of simple, like you could make it, but it was really difficult for me to make it. And, oh, it's, oh everything's coming off. You kind of need to put the torso and everything on really quickly because it's going to come on off and it's going to look ugly. So, where'd it go? There it is. So this piece just goes on too. It's got a slit in the back so it can curl up in the back. Oh gosh, ah! They keep falling off because I keep moving the figure. Alright, go on. The Yes. And then, yes. Okay. And now the head. And boom! We got Gino. Do not take the head off again because it's really difficult to get back on. Especially with, you know, like one hand like I was trying to do. So yeah, there's Gino. I will be making a much better Gino when he gets revealed because that's gonna happen. I just wanted to make one before it's like, you know, like, oh, I made Gina before. Who cares? There he is. So those are those figures and make sure that you comment, rate, make sure you rate. That's a joke that no one will get besides LOZ Super Productions. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe and as of all, as of all, what kind of word is that? Most of all, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.